Welcome back, you're joining me just in time for Operation Rebel Hawk. We're setting down to stop an advent reprisal attack against the resistance haven known as Independence Point in the New Arctic. We've got a fairly strong squad at this point and they're only getting stronger, so let's hope this isn't the mission that breaks their nose and sends us tumbling down. Uh, but hopefully everyone comes home alive and we keep on uh, building our success and steamrolling these alien invaders, or I suppose alien defenders at this point. Regardless, let's get down there. Menace 1 5. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Alright, we're up against the map edge right here, up against the map edge. We start in the corner as you'd expect. We're gonna want to take this building, I think, and then use uh, this building's interior to fuck aliens. Um, let's start scouting with Ghost. Get it towards a pipe, if I can. And then what I'm gonna do, if you can let me get up here... Orders confirmed. Moving out. Is I'm gonna stick Bone Daddy on this corner. Finally. And I'm gonna see if I can't scan this entire building. Maybe not. Maybe not this turn. That's alright. Maybe next turn. I'm just worried about faceless. There's a lot of civilians inside this building, and I feel like a faceless is going to be amongst them almost guaranteed. Confirmed. And I'm not looking forward to that, naturally. Let's do this! Affirmative, moving out! But what can you do about it now? Affirmative, covering it. Gotta cover. It's overwatch. Come get some. Let's just hope it's not too close. Jeff Marshall is dead, and it's my fault. I will never We're forget Jeff Marshall. Okay, we're running we out of the roller this. door. But no faceless trigger this turn, okay. Let's get Bone Daddy up top. Tired of waiting around. Yes, yes. I'm gonna pop a battle scanner. Up here, and we're gonna see what that tells us. We got a pod up there, is what it's gonna tell us. Holy shit. Okay, we got any faceless? Oh, yeah, we do. Watch out! Because that is an angry man. An angry, angry goo man. But at least we know about him in advance this way. Right, now we've got. Looks like a couple of troopers downstairs. Yeah, a couple of advent troopers downstairs. Also, a whole bunch of problems up here. Viper and two troopers upstairs as well. We're gonna move Suarez to the right, I think. We're gonna have to prepare ourselves for incoming angries. Heading there now. Incoming angry facelesses. I'm gonna stick you up here. Here I come. And hopefully we can overwatch these facelesses as they come in. I think that faceless should be too far away from me to hit me this turn. I've been wrong before, but I think he should be too far away and that should allow us to get him down of overwatch. Maybe even this uh, viper pod as well. So we'll see how we go uh, right now. Scanning. Something moved over there. Yep, it's a faceless. Okay, a couple of troopers fucking around down below. Shooting some fools. Missing some fools. There's a gas pump we might be able to drive these enemies into as well, which would be nice. Okay, as expected, we... M oh, not quite. Not quite revealing that Viper Pod just yet. Close, but no cigar. And they're going to take out Lena Wagner. Nasty little double activation going on down there. I'm not looking forward to that. But this turn, what we have to worry about is... Oh, the Faceless isn't going to attack us this turn. That is interesting. Well, we probably want to get up there and shoot it this turn. Perhaps if it can't see you, it doesn't reveal? I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. Makes things a little bit difficult, honestly, because if it doesn't run towards me, the only way to shoot it is going to be by revealing myself to those pods down there. Shit. Shit! Um, I might be able to handle this, though. 
And we need to do something, because if not, people are about to start dying even more than they already are. Confirmed. Let's go ahead and move up and flip this door open to start. We need to get to work here. That's gonna reveal. Reveal a couple of them, at least. And they're gonna charge over to the side. That's alright. I got a 76 on one of them, no problem, no sweat, just cold turkey straight up. Merciless 76 on one of them. And then that leaves a considerably worse shot on the other one, but I can move myself up. Finally. And I can pop a grenade. Or I could suppress the guy. That would work just as well, but I think I want them to die. I think I like it when they die, honestly. So instead, we might go for the dying strategy. Uh, we can't get, quite get that guy's cover, but we can blow up both of them at once. Throwing grenade. Fire that grenade. Very no, oh, Beagle, big boy. Big boy Beagle. Big boy Beagle with big strong grenades. Wow, that was strong. Very nice. All right. So we're going to assume the Faceless isn't going to come at me this turn, I suppose. I suppose he's not allowed to this turn. If I continue to block him, he might continue to not be allowed if I look at it right. See, if I block these two positions, it's the box strat in reverse. What I want to do is block here. Moving on target location. And block here. Moving and in fact, there's, a, there's like a tarp here, so he can't jump down anyway. And then as long as I block this position with uh, Bone on. Daddy, that thing can't jump down even if it is activated. Checkmate. Own for life. Next turn we'll kill the Viper. Moving to Overwatch. On Overwatch. Is it activated? I swear those things activate. But it doesn't seem to be. No, it doesn't seem to be active. Okay, well, you know what? I will not look that gift horse in the mouth. That is good. It's definitely a good thing. We're going to move Let's in with Malinowski. This. We're going to activate that Viper pod that's down there. Or not. They're gone, apparently. Gone is the Viper pod. Okay, well, if it's not around, then we can move in on the side and think about taking out this faceless. Here I come. Which would be good. Nope, there they are. Ruse hard. They're on to me. Ruse hard of a vengeance. Advent troops spotted. You got me. Wait, wasn't there a Viper? Oh, this is a completely different pod. Holy shit. That's not really very good. At least I got 100 on this guy, but it's not going to kill him. 77 on the indoors. And a sectoid which we can hopefully ignore till later. Grenade over here guarantees this guy dies. Then again, we can probably guarantee he dies anyway. By grenading afterwards. But we, we, we're probably gonna need a grenade over there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, Beagle could potentially drop down. Maybe and stock him. Am I reading that right? Yeah, you could stock him. Okay, so we would probably want to take that shotgun first. But you're being flanked by this Advent Trooper who then presents the biggest issue. So Kilroy is going to have to drop down and deal this Advent Trooper for us. How are we going to do that? And what if that Viper comes back? Many difficult questions to be answered right now. If I drop you down here... Hopefully you won't reveal the Faceless and then you can kill that Trooper. On my way. But where is the Viper pod is the real question. The Viper pod is just fucking gone, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Kill that- Kill that lady. She is dead, not big surprise. She is- Target eliminated. Hunkered in the corner, not having a good time. Um, we can go ahead and shoot this guy now. Good damage. Alright, either way. Now we can combat protocol him, or we can do whatever we want. Well, we can't combat protocol him, but either way, now we can fire the grenade, I suppose. Unless Jamble... Jamble may have this covered, I think, actually. If Jamble runs over, we've got this guy dead to rights, nonetheless. Moving to designated coordinates. So Jamble's gonna hustle. Jamble's a mad hustler. Oh, don't even worry about the lightning hands, because you just have 100% to hit, apparently. Oh, shit, you can see the faceless. That's not good. Ah, uh, fuck. 
Maybe it is active, but it, it's bugged out and can't move. Tell you what, I want to take the chance. We're gonna, we're gonna lightning hands. Hostile neutralized. And then, just in case this asshole decides it'd be funny to move, we're gonna flashbang him too. Need a light. So he can't chase us. Right now, you're banged. Get banged, mate. Uh, and now we can get to work on killing this Sekitoid. Oh crap! No! No! You disoriented the Sektoid, now I can shoot Kilroy! Fuck! Shit! We've gotta- oh god, no! Oh, we gotta cover Kilroy so bad, we gotta cover Kilroy so bad. Jesus, no, that's terrible, I didn't mean- How did it flashbang him? No! Hang on, hang on. If you get the flanking crit here... It's okay. Move down. Tired of waiting around. Get the big flanking crit. The big whopping crit on this sectoid. That'll do. Elucidate his bottom with your bullets. And now, somebody's about to get bottom bothered. It's the sectoid, by the way. Looks like this might be it. Red rocket in flight. Boo! Afternoon delight. I always sing when the drone goes out. I don't know why. Promotion for Malinowski. And now we must just pray that the faceless continues to stand still and do nothing. As it has done for the previous turns. Keeps doing that. We're golden. Yeah, he don't want to move, apparently. I'm cool with that. Oh, shit. Got what the fuck? Here. Where were you hiding? Oh my god! That is terrifying. Alright, so we get a nasty Viper on our flank. I'm glad that Faceless doesn't want to do anything because this situation just gets worse and worse. Wasted flashbang or not. Okay. Not great. And there's a pipe behind me so Jamble's not safe. We're not safe here. That is apparently a gas pump though. Interesting concept. I think if I move you to out here, you should be more than far enough away. I want to get that loot though. I really want to get that loot. Probably gonna need my grenades to kill the Viper though. So hold on. If we drop you down, you can kill that guy, no problem. Look at he split. We can grenade these chumps, and that's the end of that. Alright. Chad, kill him, move through. Moving on target location. YOLO. YOLO. Y YOLO. 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 Don't blow up the civilian's floor. He needs that to live. So we need the Viper to die. Numero uno, number, number eins. That is the most important thing right here. So send that grenade out, Kiro. Bombs away! Never give up, that's right. Pop. Good start. Can Jamble shoot it now? No. Jamble would have to jump down to shoot it. That's okay. We ain't done yet. What would your next move be? Well, if you're definitely going to drop down and kill this guy, let's do that first. Let's do we are just assuming that the Faceless is our pet Faceless at this point. I can only hope. Nice, Delirium Core and an Advanced Hair Trigger, very good. I got your stuff here. Try very carefully to not hit the propane tank you're sitting next to. Good. We just have to hope the Faceless continues being Let's the pet Faceless. Four. That's all we've got going for us right now. Okay. Might be able to just gun down this trooper perhaps, and then suppress the Viper? Not sure. 
if we move to this position... But then if the Viper... The Viper will move because the Viper is not suppressed. So the Viper will move. But if we can gun down this Viper with sufficient amounts of chain gun, none of it matters. That's the key. So let's get a shot on this Viper. Here I come. Get him. Always with the dodge of these fucking things. Always with the fucking dodge. I might have winged him. Yeah, well, winging him isn't Pass really bringing him the bacon right now, man. Might have winged him. You might have also killed us all. You're gonna have to hop down here and engage my sweet, my sweet delicate jamble. He can't get up there to hit you, so you can move to here. Moving. Go, you safe. Go. Go, you drongo. Okay. Pistale. Yes, yes, very nice, very nice. Enemies down. Yes, yes. Okay, now we just gotta watch out for that trooper. Who might be able to get a wild flank on my ranger if he's smart. We should watch out for that. Probably the best thing we can do is move Bone Daddy down to a position where he can overwatch camp this sucker. It's probably the only thing we can do. Or we can have Bone Daddy just run down and shoot the guy and pray that it kills him. Do we trust in Bone Daddy to clutch? I mean, yes. Yes, of course we do, but then also no. What if, what if it doesn't work and it's not his fault? It just doesn't work. Oh, let's see what we can do here. And the side. Four, five, and the crit. Tell you what. I'll move Bone Daddy to this position. And I'm going to overwatch him from here. If he runs, I've got a really good shot on him. If not, works for me. Overwatch. Best I can do, I think. Faceless, please continue to be docile. Praise Solomon. Beagle cheats. Beagle cheats at the game. I would have killed it on Overwatch. It's fine. Okay, now this guy's running. He wants the Bone Daddy. Bone Daddy, please give it to him. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? I think I know what just happened. I think... Oh god, what is happening? Jesus, Bone Daddy. Okay, so as far as I can tell... I'm very happy Bone Daddy's still alive. What the... So... Okay, let me... Let me show you what just happened. The engine didn't quite render it right, but here's what happened. Bone Daddy took an Overwatch. Bone Daddy shot the trooper before he'd even started moving properly because Bone Daddy's amazing. Bone Daddy accidentally shot through the floor he was standing on, dropped himself through the floor, took damage, then exposed himself. The trooper shot him while Bone Daddy was falling through the air somehow, which then gave him an exposed crit. But you know what? Bone Daddy's still alive because fuck you. So get fucking destroyed. Seriously though, what the hell is that? Let's move already. Okay, Bone Daddy's just gone nut. He's oh my god, he's just entered the shadow realm now. You see that? Oh my god, Bone Daddy, what is happening to you? The skeleton powers have arisen. Only by nearly dying can he truly become what he was always meant to be—the king of skeletons. <laughs> what the fuck, Bone Daddy? What are you doing? Bone Daddy! Bone Daddy has ascended. <laughs> Bone Daddy no longer needs your pathetic humanity. Oh my god, cover Bone Daddy. <laughs> We're taking shots on the faceless. That is definitely not a Bone Daddy go-getter. Holy fuck, I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Um, we're just gonna go ahead and, uh... Do you wanna just grenade him? Do you wanna just grenade him down? Maybe? Finally. Maybe we can Let's just grenade him on. down. Oh, never mind, I got a shot on him. There you go. Say goodbye to Goo Man Group. You want some more? 
Negative. Weapons dry. Oh shit, that's making another faceless spawn though. Where is the other faceless? I don't like the sound of that. I'm on the move. I hope he's not close to Bone Daddy. On Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. Oh god, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Okay, I think we're safe. Slay this last A away. That was an amazing move, Bone Daddy. I love what you do. I love I just love the way you work. Take a shot with Jamble. Shoot the goo man. And you know what? Why don't we just shoot him with Bone Daddy at this point? Finally. He's just teleporting. He has literally entered the skeleton realm. He operates in the necromantic dimension. He's just he is no longer human. He is Skeleman. Malinowski has transcended. But we need to finish that guy off for him, unfortunately. He wants the faceless to become close to death, just like him. He wants to understand. Here I come. He wants the faceless to understand what it's like to be riding the line between life and death. <laughs> unfortunately, I just want the faceless to die, so. There you go. <laughs> Great you job, Bone Daddy. Thanks for not being dead. Use some ammo over here. Menace 1 5, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Alright, well, Bone Daddy's gonna be out for like a year. But hey, we saved 11 civilians, so that's a pretty good effort. <laughs> what a beautiful mission. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for making that such a great mission. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck was happening in that entire mission. Shit just went to hell. XCOM shooting out their own floor is a serious thing, man. Usually they do it to their teammates, though. It's really bad. But he's alive. Bone Daddy is alive. Just barely. I expected something <laughs> of a learning curve for our new recruits, but they've done a remarkable job, Commander. You're gonna fall behind in the Kill Olympics now and the Murder Olympics, Bone Daddy. You're not going to be bronze anymore because you're going to be out of action for a while. But you have made it to Lieutenant. You're out for 37 days. Damn, son. Don't worry. i got that Advanced Warfare Center coming soon. We're going to get you back in the fight in 20. Guaranteed. I need you back in the fight. Don't worry, Bone Daddy. Uh, but we're not going to get him Field Medic. We're going to get him Scanning Protocol. Uh, which is going to be basically like a free battle scan triggered on your position. So just like the battle scanner is so useful in these operations, so is Scanning Protocol. And it's free. It's a free scanner for you, Jim. We also got Kilroy promoted. He is going to be our Shredder Gunner. He is going to knock that ammo off. Uh, not knock that armor off. And then it leaves Ghost Suarez to choose between Conceal or Run and Gun. Uh, I feel like Conceal is redundant. Conceal is basically like a slightly better version of Phantom because you can choose when to Phantom. Um, when you already have Phantom, I think it's redundant. Especially because the other build focuses on the blade so they don't need Run and Gun. I think when you build a Shotgun Phantom Scout, they should always take run and gun because these are your shotgun focused people. They're not blade focused, they're shotgun focused. So run and gun is very strong for that. Let's you shoot after dashing. Very, very strong. Not a bad mission. Never forget Bone Daddy. He's going to be feeling that one for a while. Now we can build a mimic beacon too. God bless. An advanced hair trigger is quite a nice pickup. Excellent work. And a lot of good Commander. corpses. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. And you'll notice because we save so many civilians, we get a lot more supplies across Asia's regions now, which is really cool. Very, very nice. <laughs> I told Bone Daddy to shoot his own floor out, and he did it, the absolute madman. Amazing. Reminds me, I need to give Ghost a camo pattern. I keep forgetting to do it. <laughs> That is a ghostly pattern, kind of. It's like spooky ghosts. I don't know. I don't know about the spooky ghost pattern. Alright, I'm committing to the spooky ghost pattern. I can't believe I'm actually- This is the first time I've ever used the spooky ghost's happy smiley face camo. 
But if, you know, she's a ghost, so she's got the spooky ghost camo, you know? It makes sense. Let's just make it like a really faint outline. Just really faint, like you can barely see it. That's what makes it so spooky. Nice. Really, really nice. You gonna join Bone Daddy's necromantic cult? Ghosts don't have skulls like that. You're lucky. You get away with it this time. Alright, well, we're gonna have to replace Bone Daddy for a little while. We don't really have a specialist to replace him apart from Glitch, and he's not really up to the same kind of ranking standards. Uh, so we'll have to see what we do there. But for now, we carry on as always. Gang Warfare. We get a free gorilla up if we go there. That's good. I want all of these things, damn it. I want all of them at once. Uh, okay, so... I need the heat signature of resistance contacts first. Then probably the gorilla op. Then probably the facility lead. This is the problem, man. There's so much good shit to do. You never do the shit you're meant to do. Like, take the facilities. Let's get the resistance contact Avenger first. Because we literally need that to do anything else. Regarding stopping this doom ticker. Okay. It's, it's ticking, man. It's ticking real fast. We need to get towards that facility. No joke. It's no joke. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Damn right we will. Oh, shit. Advanced warfare okay, the UFO is back, but it's okay. It's gone again. Original Hedgehog is finally available again because he's completed the Advanced Warfare Center, which we set out to construct so long ago. Uh, but now that is really good, and that's going to increase the soldier healing rate as well. There we go. You can sit in those beds right there if you're not feeling very well, and we'll make you feel much better. So right away, I'm going to go ahead and stick Hedgehog back in. Hedgehog is our local doctor. God help us all. So, Sonic helps them recover. Bone Daddy's now back down to 17 days. It's way more palatable. If I went and got uh, the medical assistance, I could turn that down to 9, which I'm considering, but I might not do. Koodaloodaloo. Alright, resistance contact plus 1. We found an overlit alien power supply, which we can use to do stuff to bolster our communications equipment. Excellent. So now we can get one more region connected, which means we can work towards uh, East Africa, and we can actually make contact with that for only 30 intel, but we won't do that just yet. Again, we're going to get this gorilla up next, I think. Avenger plotting new course. And then perhaps the uh, facility lead afterwards, because the lead on a facility lets us stop the Doom Ticker even faster. Okay, we got another ranger. That's all good. Keep training these chumps. Keep them going. Another specialist. Now that we have a lieutenant, we can also get uh, integrated warfare and vengeance, which are both good things to have. Vengeance, not so much, but integrated warfare, quite good. Vengeance, I don't have enough people die often enough to feel the need for it. Bradford really gets around, man. Here he is. He's... He's saying, congrats on graduating and becoming a, a ranger. Really great job. Top, top well. Top level. Well done. Incoming message uh -huh. for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. Thank you. All right, we got another doctor we can recruit. Uh, okay. And we've got another minor breakthrough to stop with the Avatar project. I also want to stop Alien Infiltrator because that is so fucking annoying when Faceless are everywhere. Uh, so either of those I'd take over whatever this hidden event is, so again I'm going to save my intel. There's your supply drop, which we want to get uh, probably ASAP. So many things to get, man. So many things to get. Avenger plotting new course. We need to get on that facility though. We really do. Let's get the supplies first. Okay, let's go ahead and check Resistance HQ for new staff, and then we'll check the black market to see what's on the menu to this, uh, this day. Welcome, Commander. So Taylor's, Dr. Tater Tots is a scientist and a crazy one at that. That's alright, we'll give it a miss. The scientists are not so hot on. That's a motor ranger. Wait, we can leave all that for now, I think. Let's check the black market. Avenger plotting new course. 
Really need some more intel, man. Really need some more intel. If we're gonna raid that facility. Market is open. I buy and trade, okay. So again, we're not gonna wanna spend our intel on this junk right now. Meanwhile, in the selling side of things, I will gladly pay you uh, for Viper Corpses. Or have you pay me. Because I don't use those anytime soon. As for the rest of it, I'm going to hold on to it if that's all the same to you. Okay, we're going to go ahead and complete this uh, Gorilla Op thing we were doing. Avenger plotting new course. Once we have Mag Weapons and uh, Bone Daddy's back, we'll probably go ahead and do the Black Site. And then we'll turn that into... Um, the facilities. Oh god, it's coming. Fly away! Setting course for West Asia. Holy shit. Leave me alone. Okay, it went away. It's good. It's all gravy. It left me alone. I think it's leaving me alone. Oh shit, the facility lead's gone. Ran out of time. Well, one less thing to do, I guess. Avenger plotting new course. The UFO left me alone. It's all good. And we'll just keep scanning. Tactical mission site located. Okay. The gang has a mission for us. Ooh, and it's gonna let me counter the faceless. Fuck yeah. Okay. Destroy the alien relay. Get 200 supplies and stop alien infiltrators. That is a win, 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 win. And help friendly gang members at the same time. Awesome. Setting course Let's do it. For the Arctic territories. Free mission. Okay, who's the replacement? Three grenadiers? I can, I can handle that. I'm down with that. No, seriously. That sounds awesome. I'm not joking. When are you guys gonna realize I'm serious? Three gonna do this? Hell yeah! This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Let's get you ready, Martin. I'm serious. This is happening. Grenades of the future. I'm gonna slide the hair trigger over to Suarez because she uses a shotgun a lot. She's likely to get a good bonus out of that 10% chance to not cost an action when she shoots on the ghost rifle, on the ghost shotgun. Can I just call it the spooky ghost? Nice. Very nice. Now I need to buy a new item before we do anything too crazy. Now that we have faceless corpses, we can build the mimic beacon. Which is a very good beacon to have. And I'll be very pleased to have it. The mimic beacon, as I keep saying, quite literally saves lives. Got to keep that medkit on Suarez, but we want the Mimic Beacon on someone else as well. Um, shit. If I stick the Mimic Beacon on Jamble, and then I stick a flashbang on Martini, she can get the better benefit out of having longer range flashbangs at a greater radius, and we should still have more than enough grenades to go around. Plus, we've got the Mimic Beacon with Jamble operating at close range and chucking it about. This should work well. Grenades, grenades, grenades out the wazoo. One med kit. Uh, jacked up weapons. Flashbang and a mimic beacon. This should be pretty good. Um, yeah, no, this should be pretty good. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. All right, gangland, let's do it. Picking up a steady stream of communication from a hidden alien comm relay uploading data to the Advent network from this region. We have to take advantage of every opportunity to disrupt the aliens' progress on their latest operation. So we're moving in to destroy the relay before they complete the transfer. Don't leave any hostiles standing. Alright, it's the bonus round. Join me next time for Operation Little Whale when we go in to help some gang people fuck up a neighborhood that was perfectly happy before we got there, I guess. Uh, until then, have a good one, I suppose. <laughs>